Hey, how's it going? It's Ollie here. So in this video, we're going to talk about how to actually scale your business using paid traffic. Now, I've been speaking to quite a few coaches recently, and there's a theme that I've been finding uh, very common where you feel really comfortable using free traffic methods to grow your business. And maybe you've got to a certain level doing that stuff, whether it's with content, uh, with blog posts, with YouTube videos, with podcasts, maybe even some joint venture stuff, right? Affiliates and things like that. And that's got your business to a certain level. You've tried paying a little bit of money into Facebook ads or Google or some other paid platform. And you tried it for a little while, but it either felt like you were just throwing money down the drain and it just wasn't really working. Or you got some results but it didn't seem good enough for you to really continue because you can't measure how effective it really was and still kind of feels like you're throwing money down the drain, right? Because it's not quantifiable. So I wanted to talk just a little bit about my philosophy for making paid ads work, how I've done it consistently for the past few years and how you can get some quick wins like in the next 30 days with your first paid ads funnel um, that can help grow your business. So before we even talk about what platform to use, what funnel to build, what advert to shoot or any of that stuff, I, I want to make one thing 100% clear. If you really want to scale your business and take it from wherever it is now, maybe a couple grand a month, maybe up to 10k a month, or maybe more, to like seven figures, then you have to be comfortable with breaking even on the front end of your business. So unless you're only selling really, really high ticket stuff like 10K packages or higher, then that thing that you're using to sell on the front end of your business, whether it's a 997 course or a tripwire funnel or whatever it is, at scale, like when you're spending a lot of money on advertising, it's not gonna make you profit. It's just not, like, there's a lot of people out there in, in the marketing world who like to talk about extremely cheap traffic that they're getting from some magical, mystical place, right? Whether it's leads for, you know, 55 cents each using some Facebook pixel hack or um, really cheap customer acquisition or really cheap uh, strategy sessions being booked. And it all sounds magical and it makes you believe that you can spend $25 on, on advertising and make a $1,000 sale all day long and, and grow your business to nine figures with your eyes closed. But the fact of the matter is that's never sustainable. It's never sustainable. And most businesses that you see that have grown to six figures seven figures, eight figures, at some point, they've had to make a significant loss on advertising spend for a certain amount of time. Now, you've probably heard the phrase, whoever can spend the most to acquire a customer wins. Does that sound familiar? Whoever can spend the most to acquire a customer wins. This is exactly what I'm talking about. All right, so forget all the magical 55 cent lead bullshit out there, which you're gonna keep hearing, and it annoys me when I hear it, because I'm like, where are these 50 cent leads, right? I need some of those leads, but then I remember, let's not get fooled by that stuff, because it is misleading, right? You want to spend more to acquire customers. That's, that's the point. You want to have a business that has the infrastructure to be able to do that. So if you really want to scale, be prepared to make a loss on the front end or break even. Then have a back end system where you can recoup your losses and make a profit. For example, I scaled my Amazon coaching business to $90,000 a month. On the front end, I had a tripwire funnel that was also linked to a webinar, okay, auto webinar. Start with a $7 product, upsells for a 397 product, the webinar sold like a $700 product. 
I scaled that from zero to $30,000 a month in ad spend. And it, it made me, that funnel made me $30,000 per month. So in other words, I was getting customers for free at this point at scale and I had a tap I could turn on, right? Turn on the YouTube ad and it would, it would constantly get me new leads into my business, buyers into my business for free. All right, this is how I was able to just get so many clients, like 30 clients a month from paid ads. The reason why this worked for me isn't because I, I was necessarily getting the best conversion rates in the world. It was because I knew strategically I wasn't going to double my money on the ad spend. It was going to just break even up until like 30K per month. Right? I was cool with that. Then I had a back end in place selling more high ticket programs right? from anywhere from $1,200 all the way up to 15000 That's where I made my profit. Right? So we were making like 40,000, 50,000 profit per month because we were able to scale and, and, and just get break even on the front end. This is something you really have to um, be able to accept if you want to really scale. Once you've got that, right, then things become a lot easier. Things become a lot easier. Right, because now the pressure's off you a little bit. And rather than trying to do the impossible, you can focus on what's real. So what would be a great aim is to try and make money back on your advertising instead of like instantly within one second of someone joining your audience and you paying $7 for a lead or whatever. Right? Maybe you make your money back in 30 days. That gives you a lot more time to create a bond with a customer Make friends with them, get them to trust you, get them to give you a certain amount of money so you can recoup your advertising spend. Companies that can do that can scale to the moon. So the point of this video was just to, to, to teach you that one point. That's all I wanted to tell you. I didn't want to go too deep into specifics of what targeting to use, of what funnel to build and all that stuff. Because at the end of the day, the truth is it doesn't really matter. You can pick any of the 50,000 funnels out there that you could build. Pick one, do it right to some degree. Like my funnel's not perfect and you can scale just as long as, long as you understand like the strategy behind it. So if you want to get more videos about how to grow your coaching business and you're interested in this content, click like just so I know that, you know, you guys find this valuable. Subscribe. Uh, and there's some links in the description if you want to uh, get in touch with me, get some more free content, join my list and, and figure out what I do to scale my business. All right. Thanks so much for watching this video. We'll catch up soon.